Marcus. Hi. So we are here next to our brand new PLB 100 that is shown for the first time uh, in Europe. Yep. What makes the camera stand out from the rest in our lineup? Um, our lineup nowadays uh, consists mainly of uh, two third inch cameras yeah, with, the, with the native B4 mount to mount typical broadcast lenses to it. But uh, this camera now with its uh, Super 35 sensor uh, allows for PL lenses to be mounted to it and uh, therefore uh, creating images that were previously only known from um, movie cameras, for example, like the Viracam lineup. But does it mean that the camera can be used with the other cameras and with the system accessories? Yeah. Uh, yes, that is completely true. Uh, actually, this camera head fits right into the same product lineup in terms of CCU, in terms of ROP, in terms of uh, the viewfinder as well. So that the customer, depending on the shooting conditions or uh, depending on the picture style that is actually um, being achieved, uh, can swap between, between the camera heads, between the UC4000 or 3300 and uh, the PLV100. Okay, that's super convenient then. Of course, ST2110 is now a hot topic all yeah. over. Is there any special functionality from PLV100 that is supported into, to be integrated into IP workflows? Uh, there actually is, because uh, not only uh, does this camera bring the new, let's say, shooting format of Super 35 into a studio camera, but it actually is the very first studio cameras uh, of Panasonic lineup that uh, outputs SD2110 natively directly from the camera head. Uh, into the production chain, which is a huge achievement, actually. And speaking about uh, system integration, let's say, we have a glass-to-glass -glass, uh, concept yeah. and we also show it here at, uh, at our booth. Yeah. Could you please elaborate a little bit on this, uh, how the camera can be yeah. integrated? Yeah, sure. Um, well, the glass-to-glass -glass concept um, basically means that we are going from the camera from basically the glass of the camera which is a lens to the glass of the screen or to the glass from the protector everything is connected via IP an IP workflow and this camera further exemplifies this uh, aim by uh, employing the SC2110 technique directly in the camera head so um, that the production chain actually extends from the camera head or from the CCU, depending on the use case, directly through the network, with Kairos obviously being at its heart, and to the projector. Cool. And where ultimately we could see the camera fit in terms of applications? Um, it's very interesting actually because um, it opens a new field of applications to use for a studio camera. Um, as I said, typically yeah, uh, nowadays broadcast application on, in, in rental market, in uh, staging market, in uh, broadcast uh, are um, based on two third inch camera systems. So um, it actually gives a better creative approach to the shooting style that you were, that you are using on on stage. Um, so giving um, the look of a shallower depth of field, for example, which is known as well uh, in the field of EEG and has been used in the field of EEG for years, actually. Now bring it uh, to the workflow of a studio camera. So then we cannot wait to see it in action yes. at some point. Exactly. Thank you very much. Thank you too.